I was born in, born in Seoul in 1984. While I'm, I'm growing up, there was an economic crisis in 1997. At the same time, internet started at the same time in South Korea. So, you know, if there's no money, there's no money for the cultural like, like experience. So, so there was nothing to do in the cities. And that's where um, many PC bang begins. Like PC bang is a kind of a land, land game place. You can play a game inside a certain room with other players. Like there are many desktops and monitors. So I, I remember I spent many, many, many of time just doing internet inside my home and just playing nothing but the games while I'm growing up. And I figured out when I, I, uh, when I was like at age of 30 and that was not just for me, um, it's for the generation around me, many, many other people. They made so many online video games and we spent many time like conversating to the other people inside the online games. So I think uh, in South Korea, internet changed the society in many ways. And it also changed the whole economic system where when you live inside the Seoul, contemporary Seoul, uh, people are so much into technology, they love it. Technology shaped the whole cityscape and everything. I am using this uh, game and video game engines and the, how they develop the video game as those informations to like describe the contemporary life. In the in the mega city, I started this kind of activity like I call like game things like I, I, I make a publishing about what's after the video game, what what video game changed our cityscape, how how they changed and how they changed the way we think, way we experience the realities. If you see the dialogue now. It, it's completely mixed with uh, video game terms and uh, comics terms and pop subculture things with the art. And I'm doing writing for the artists and at the same time for the video gamers because I want to connect those uh, people or like art people and the gamer, gaming industry people. It's a strange way of making and generating artworks and art discourses. It's because the Seoul is quite uh, quite a city that is uh, hard to live. I mean, I mean, it's quite harsh to live in Seoul. It has a like high rent fees. So so basically, I'm an artist, and there's no space for the art. There's there, there's no studio for me. Like I <laughs> I spent most of the time inside the video game engine preparing this exhibition because I had. Only thing I had was a small desktop. I'm, I'm just changing the, the, the like graphic cards. I can, I can do that. It's, I'm changing CPUs so I can have more process power, basically, but there's no power to store my artworks. I mean, I like the way of living like that because I'm starting to using that kind of a situation as a part of shaping my artworks. When I was preparing this exhibition, I, I prepared a uh, digital space inside my game engine, like exact dimension, uh, same to the art space here in level three, level three. This comes from the idea of, uh, 19, in 1939, there was a New York World Fair, and corporation like General Motors, they had this exhibition called Futurama. It was a, a diorama which has a small people inside the city and there was an electronic highway next to it and the cars are automated. Like, so it's basically a basic concept of uh, automated vehicles. When I saw that in, the, in a book, books that explaining about what, what is a self-driving car, 
I, I thought it would be great if I could use that, that kind of a structure uh, when I, because when I see that re, uh, real small person, it, it's, I know it is not a real one with animations and it's not alive, but they have ability that make you think like you are inside the city as a small person, you are really inside the future. That's where my uh, three uh, creatures come from, human, uh, the, the Lilliputians, and the self-driving car. So with that, I can make like uh, some environment to, like has, has the environment that has a reality of something like a future. So for me, like self-driving self car is a kind of a vector, like where our society goes. This is for the like future vector. It's an arrow to the future. When we play a game, there's a concept of player. A uh, player means uh, we are interacting with a certain tool or certain rule. So I starting starting to using this uh, term player uh, for my artworks and and uh, any other experience like writings and publishing. Because the player basically means our body uh, interacting with data. So, so, so when we interacting with data, I, I, what I imagine is there's a, some field of my body like, like extended, like, and I, I cannot, I have no ability to see it in, in a visual way. So then, that feels me like. I'm inside a video game, certain video game. I'm connecting to some of my data or, or, or the data of not mine, just, just collective data. So uh, when I call my artwork as a, video, as, as a game, I'm, I have this intention of uh, describing this situation. I, I like the uh, feeling of latency. Because I, when I uh, input some uh, something like I, I painted it on inside the uh, painting application inside the uh, monitor, I painted uh, a line. Let's say I, I drag the mouse, and if your computer is so slow or, or your internet connection is bad, the the dot I painted is following me like in in time. So. I have that kind of feeling when I make artwork and installation because I've already done it inside the virtual world and it keep follows me until the end of the exhibition. So I like the term of terms like lag or latency because it makes me imagine of uh, digital and real life keep following each other in a circle. Uh, what I like is they are eating each other up again, 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 like circulating.